Hi everyone, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some of the new features in Audio Design Desk. These include a record feature, the ability to follow MIDI timecode and sync it with your DAW, and some really good options for creating loop-based music. So, let's start out with the record feature. I'm going to go to the ADD menu and Preferences, and just make sure that I've got my audio interface selected. So I'm going to select that, click on Save. Next, I'll create a new track by pressing Command N, and then just double check the input. So if you click on this little tab here, all the available inputs will be listed. I'll choose input one, click on the record button on the track and you can see we've now got some level coming in and now I just need to hit the main record button at the top. Hello, this is a recording into Audio Design Desk. So far I've used this feature to record a couple of voiceovers in sync with picture, but you could equally use it for recording Foley. Now let's take a look at the MIDI timecode feature. So I've opened up a different project. I'm once again going to go into the preferences and as you can see, there's an MTC receive option. Make sure that's selected, ADD MTC in. Now just enable the MTC sync receive button at the top of the timeline. I'm gonna be using Pro Tools for this, so let's head over to a session. One really important point here is that both the Pro Tools session and the ADD project should have the same start time. This one's just set to zero across the board, and also the frame rate is 23.976. Let's just go back into ADD and check this. So if you click on this little time code option at the top, you can manually type in a project start time, this is actually different, so I'm going to have to change one or the other. I'm going to change this, so let's just put in 000, and then double check that the frame rate is correct, 23.976. Now what we need to do, going back into Pro Tools, is just go into the Setup menu, and then Peripherals, and then in the Sync section, MTC Generator Port, I'm going to choose ADD MTC in, and then just one final step, right click at the top here, and just make sure that the synchronization controls are visible, which they are in my session, I'm going to just choose MTC, and the two will now synchronize. So if I run this, Audio Design Desk is actually following it. And of course, the two are in perfect synchronization. And if you prefer to use Logic rather than Pro Tools, that's no problem because the Audio Design Desk MIDI timecode feature works there too. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the new loop-based music features. So I've created another project, and if I click on this little button down here, we get this trigger pad. This is resizable, so you can make it whatever size you need. And as you can see, we can trigger various things from here, beats, bass, chords, and so on. So I'm going to start out with a beat, and it's dropped it into the timeline, and maybe a bass. Let's just see what we have. That's quite good, but maybe I want to try something else. So if I select both of them and press Command R, it's going to swap both of them. Press Command R again. And maybe one more time, let's try that. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. If you want to turn anything down on the timeline, select it and press shift and down arrow, or shift and up arrow, of course, to turn it up again. So maybe I just want to keep this one at the high level and turn that one down. And I can tell from the file name here that we're in E minor, but if you want to check that, you can click the file, choose the metadata tab at the bottom, and it'll tell you what the key is here. So now we know the key we're working in, if we're happy with it, I might want to open the little key tab here, click on this, and I just want to make sure that all subsequent sounds I add are in that key. So I can choose E minor, and let's add a chord. We'll try that. I'll just move it onto the grid. In fact, yeah, I'll drop it from the beginning. Take a listen to this. If you want to duplicate anything, you just select it and press Shift D. So I'll duplicate this beat. I'll tell you what, let's do it a couple of times. And maybe this bass line once again. And let's add a vocal. So I'll click on the vocal tab here. When the party's over, we still dance. That's right. It's actually pretty good, coming together nicely. You can see how easy it is to chop and change. If I didn't like something, I could swap it. Let me just first add something else. I'm going to add a lead part here and uh, just drop this onto the grid. Let's see what we've got now. Only you and me just take my hand. Okay, Command R, swap that. Let's see what we have now. Only you and me just take my hand all night. Okay, that's not bad. I'll just turn it down a little bit. Shift and down arrow once again. Maybe duplicate it. Shift D. Have another listen. Let's try another bit of vocal, so I'll click here. Take my hand all night. We all have a single voice, better make the right choice. Don't wanna ever... 
Well, considering how quickly I've just put that together, it's a really good result. And of course, it's extremely easy to experiment with different sounds in different keys, and now also to record your own parts into Audio Design Desk. Coupled with the MIDI timecode features, I think all of this makes this software very versatile for music, post, and podcast production as well. I know that the team at Audio Design Desk are working hard to bring even more features to the software very soon, so I recommend checking it out. Thanks for watching.